Whew, boy, is it hot in New York. That's why New York is very hot. In fact, I went and got me a, uh, a button. Went and got me a Negro Mandillo. I found out about Negro Mandillos when I was traveling in Mexico. It's a, a scooter, a, a dark, a dark Mexican beer. And everybody does it all, the other kind, but you know, the, the Mexicans, they have Negro Mandela, they have this, well, anyway. Uh, I usually put, you know, you should put a little lime in there, because that's, that's the way they roll in Central America. Anyway, it's hot in New York, you know? At least 32 Celsius, and whatever, 90, whatever it is, I think. But this is my indulgence thing. I, um, uh, also, in New York, while I'm in New York, I had to get my table talk pie, pineapples, peanut bread by the Tasty Company. In fact, I was, when I was down in Virginia, they had the big pie. This one cost like 99 cents, uh, but uh, the big one cost like 3.99 at the at the outlet place there. And I was like, whoa, I never seen a big table talk pie, so I had that. Also, I'm bringing back friends in uh, Cape Town. I turned them on to M&M &M Dark in the purple package. They also have an M&M Dark Peanut. This is a, a plane. I just, uh, so I'm bringing out that little thing. I'm not bringing people any gifts back this time because there's too many people. Also, I got a, um, a, for my Moto G, I got a covering, you know, goes with the thing. And I'm also, because uh, I had these uh, pouches that uh, last time, or a few years ago, and they sort of disappeared in between Alice and Cape Town. But now I got the the pouch like that, you know, for for you. And they have the thing that's attached to it. That's kind of interesting. And you know, it slings over your shoulder. It's a good good for uh, carrying little stuff, you know, your shoulder bag, whatever it is. So my wife will like this one. So that's really 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 good. Also, indulge. Talk about indulgences. I'm in New York. I had to, I'm not going to be in, in, the, in the Northern Hemisphere for quite a while. I had to stay. There's two, there's about three things that need but uh, for me, it's played out. Um, you have to stop by. There's a papaya. It's called a Gray's Papaya on 72nd Street and Broadway. That's the original one. So I had to go to the Yankee. I don't eat hot dogs, but I had to go eat a hot dog, you know. But, I, you know, you can't sauerkraut, all this sort of stuff on it. You know, so I had to do that because I'm in New York like that. And I also stopped by. White Castle. Now you don't know White Castle, but uh, and I went and got a you know they have these what they call slices, but little the little hamburgers. They're like very small squares, you know. Now I got addicted to them or to White Castle because when I was going to high school, uh, Theodore Roosevelt High School on Fordham Road, right down the street was a White Castle, and that's where we went. And if you're a New Yorker, well that's what they, yeah, people have weddings in White Castle. Anyway, this is a chocolate shake. That's the big thing, the chocolate shake. So I had that. Uh, like that, but I should warn you: the, the White Castle that will go through your system, as, as well as well, you know, hot dogs are not good for you anyway. So that's my indulgence. But I also had another indulgence. Uh, in Alice, we don't have well, we don't have movie theaters. I have to just say that the closest one would be uh, would be East London. That's two hours away, you know. So there's no entertainment in Alice at all. So. What, what, what could you do? So while I was here, they have the, they have now have the 4G where they have the seat that, that does the rocks and whatever have you. So I went and bit the bullet. I spent more money than I, than I wanted to. I didn't want to spend any money. But my man, Steve Marsh, said, oh, you got to try something. I said, fine. Because, you know, when well, anyway, I sat in the seat, just watch Ghostbusters. You know, Ghostbusters 2, you know, the women's kind of thing. You know, and the seat's rocking. And then when the, when the water comes down, there's this water sprays on you. It's, it's, it's like an environmental thing. But the seat rocking was annoying, you know? Uh, it's put, at certain times, I guess, to keep you awake. I, first of all, I didn't like the movie. All right? I guess it's fine for people, but, you know, like, for instance, i gi I give you a, a thing. Uh, uh, Bill Murray, who's in the original movie, he had a cameo, right? Uh, Dan Aykroyd, he, he had a cameo. Now, I know that uh, 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 Ernie Hudson's got to still be around. I didn't see him in the cameo, but then that could be my fault, because I fell asleep. Yeah, in a rocket chair, I fell asleep, like, most of the way, three quarters of the way to the movie, because I ain't seen no Ernie Hudson. So, for me, and then the sister that they had in there, you know, she's doing the whole buffoonery thing to me, you know. So, I didn't enjoy the movie at all. It was like, and like I said, I fell asleep. When I woke up, you know, the movie theater was empty, people were cleaning up. So, I said, I wasted my money. 
Yeah, but I had to have the experience because they're not going to have it in South Africa, right? Well, at least any time where I am in Alice. So then I was walking out and I said, let me go to another movie because the way they get a complex, you can just slip into another movie, you know, especially it's in the fourth or fifth week, whatever it is. So I went and saw Tarzan. Now somebody said, uh, Jim Forrest, he said, you know, you should, you should check out Tarzan because, you know, Tarzan, you know, the white man saves the, you know, talks to animals, you know, saves the jungle, blah, 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 blah. And so I checked it out and it was good. Uh, they had this whole motif about, you know, Leopold and the Belgian. They had that under, you know, Belgian, how you know, King Leopold and the Belgian Congo and how they exploit and things. They had that underlying. But more importantly, the, um, the, the, uh, the, the natives, the savages, the autochthonous people, they were portrayed pretty good. You know, and, 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 and Tarzan wasn't coming like he was the lord of the jungle. He was coming like he had concern for the people, whatever have you. So anyway, and Christopher Walsh was as the bad guy. But it was quite interesting. And I, I actually ended up liking the movie. And no one can stray to uh, uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs or whatever have you. But then I was, well, why do I like this? It's pretty good. The, the, the writing, it was really good. When I look at movies, I look at the writing, really. I know people look at the, the, the blah, 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 the, the pyrotechnics, the, the cinematography, the whatever. But I'm always tuned into the writing. And so, of course, I stay for the end credits. And, I've, and, and uh, 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 the guy Brewer, the, the, the guy that did Black Snake Moan, and, um, and, and what's that one with Terrence, make the Terrence Howard and, and Anthony uh, uh, thing, you know, that thing about the jazz. Anyway, and, and, uh, and, and uh, what's the name? Drumline. I really love Drumline. You know, he's the, the Craig Brewer. He's the one that did uh, Mr. 300, I think he did. Anyway, he's the one who was, was one of the writers. And I think because of him, black writer, you know, that it, it came out much better than, than I would expect that the legend of Tarzan. So that's my indulgences in, in this trip and my my last trip for quite a long time to New York. Um, that's my indulgence. That's me. Me, my indulgence, me, me being T for the Patterson taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.